Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the exciting stage play, No Grief for Any Baga, produced by Tai Ajayi and directed by Liki Bolagi. We are thrilled to have you join us today on this journey of laughter and self-discovery. Get ready to be transported into the world of Bros, a farmer who dares to dream of a better life. From the actors who breathed life into the characters and to the creatives who shaped the story, delve into the world of the play and explore what made it so special. Listen in as our guests share their experiences, insights, and thoughts on this unforgettable production. There were a lot of um, interesting scenes and very funny scenes, so we got to laugh a lot. It's needed. <laughs> it was really nice, you know. I, I, I saw this play in uh, 1985 or 87. I was very, very small. And so the lead actor was like the same person that allowed it to be himself then those days yeah it was really nice you know, it shows um, the mindset of human beings you know, a lot of the time we what we think is always the person the problem so we thought they were poor but not the poverty there are other things that are their problems there you know at the end of the day both couples we always call anybody love each other so it was really nice and quite informative and educative Really nice. I had an amazing time. It's been a while I've seen a stage play and it was just hilarious. It was awesome. So many nice lessons and it was just amazing. Like just like the topic, don't give for anybody. Do uh, if you look at it that uh, is it fair? Someone is trying to steal from you and you are able to over you're not stiff for that person. Can we say it's that fair? But for the topic, don't just give for anybody because otherwise they will cheat you, they will overuse you and they will overtake you. So don't give anybody. In a world where life's journey can be a constant struggle, one man's story takes an extraordinary turn. Meet Bros, a farmer whose path has been filled with challenges and a marriage that has tested his patience. But when an angel intervenes, Bros' fate takes a dramatic turn. Um, oh baby, she was really good. She was really good, yeah. She embodied the character well. You know, the landlord and the way he handled the play was was very real for me. I, I, could, I could relate from the facial expression. The character was Bros. I think he's very smart in a very stupid way, but his smartness cannot be denied. Do you understand? He used what he had to get what he wanted in the end of the, at the end of the day. So I mean that is that should be applauded. Really. The curtain has closed, but the conversation continues. Join us as we chat with the talented individuals who made no grief for any bagger a theatrical success. Hear the stories behind the scenes, the inspiration behind the characters, and the passion that drove the creative process. And that's the challenge because if you're not careful, you can you can either become complacent as an actor and just relax and say, "Oh, she be motivated. It's something I've done before." So every time we play it, I always try to, as much as possible to find something new something different, something outstanding, energy, spring of energy, interpretation, um, audience. I also like to write with sometimes with my audience, you know, I, I tend to also feel them, feel their impact, impact and um, use it as an energy to even get better. So there's a, there, every time you play, there's always a new challenge. And the number one challenge for a play that you've done before is never to get complacent. Challenge, not so challenging, but it's okay. But I enjoyed playing it. Challenging to me, I think it was just at first getting to, you know, act and play the part by a character, be in the character, be the, you know, it was, I think that was just a little challenge I had, like, before I had to, like, get into the actual character. So that was it. Apart from that, nah, it was all fun and good. I enjoyed myself, actually. Well, nothing really much, though, because our character was, I felt as long as I, when I read the script, I didn't take too much to like 
crime the lines because I felt if I could understand my character then to be easier for me so there was no real challenge there and it was even easy working with um, my fellow actors because they are like professionals and so the flow was just there I think I joined a few days before this production so and it was amazing he's playing a a cantaqueros personality and then being poor being poor is not easy <laughs> we, would, we should never be poor we would never be poor it's not a good thing to be poor at all <laughs> when we had to fight then transiting to actually loving each other because the fights were really intense so to break it down in that short time you know when you're acting um maybe on on tv or something you have time you can cut and break but on the stage it's literally from one minute of joy to another minute of fights the transition is so was so difficult but yeah you said we did well so i, I guess we did well <laughs> um, in lagos today fun fact there are theatre, there are plays that are being staged every other week in different places, right? Um, and then what I want to come and do in this space is to bring in some vibrancy. And vibrancy in the sense of just three ways. Number one, get young people to see theatre. Um, young people have sort of been pulled away from it, I guess because of digital, because of their phone, because of Netflixing. Um, going to the theatre um, doesn't seem to be part of the current culture. What I'm trying to do is to reintroduce that to people because as an African, theater is part of your life. Like you grew up with masquerades, with, co with cultural festival, and that's what really theater is about. A celebration of the human spirit. And so in bringing vibrance into this space, what I want to do is to attract the younger folks to see more movies, to see more theater, to see more plays and drive things forward, which is one. Two, like I said, is there's a bit of non-unitedness and I'm not using the word unity intentionally um, in terms of how the ecosystem speaks to each other so what we have are small groups of people who are throwing plays everywhere and the thing about them is that it means that theater might not be commercially viable running theater that way so what I'm trying to do my unique position my unique vision is to make theater of high commercial value just like you see what we have in movies just like what you see in music and just things like that um, if you go around Broadway or if you go to the UK, if you travel around the world, you see how vibrant that space is. So the reason why we named our company Vibra is actually to push that, like I said, make it more vibrant, more energy, more power, more money, more commercial value, and to be able to move things from where they are today to where they can be. I think that there are some pioneers um, that have done really a great job, but I think where we are right now is to move things forward. And the way forward is to get the young people involved in theatre. Just like they will go to cinemas to watch movies, we want them to be able to come to, to theatre. This is hard, this is difficult, but it's possible. I mean, we just finished the show where there were over 375 people that showed up, and 6% of them were very young people between the age of 24 and 31. Uh, this is not a number that you see, but we are beginning to see that trend, and that's what we want to keep driving. And at the end of the play, we spoke with them, they are like, oh gosh, this is my first time of seeing a cinema. 40% um, of people who showed up at our play, this will be their first play, right? And when I spoke to them, they're like, I want to see more plays. I want to, I'm going to keep reading your newsletters, right? Whatever you send them. So that is, these are some of the things that we want to be able to push out and drive on. So like I said, just bring the unity, unitedness of that space. And what I want to do is to start featuring all of the theater happening across Lagos. We want to take that as part of our boarding and start pushing them out and start doing a lot of work helping them sell tickets helping drive visibility for those sort of theater productions we think that this is a way for us to be able to build that theater culture and move things forward and that's a wrap thank you to our incredible cast and crew for making the stage play a success until next time goodbye